Okay, uh, number one, suppose you are selling cases of mixed nuts and roasted peanuts. You can order no more than a total of 500 cans and packages and spend no more than $600. How can you maximize your profit and how much is the maximum profit? Okay, so of course, um, let's go ahead and set some parameters. X is going to be the mixed nuts and Y is going to be the peanuts. And of course, we know that x has to be greater than or equal to zero, and y has to be greater than or equal to zero. But those are not only our constraints. Um, first of all, we have a constraint of 500 for cans and packages. So if I buy cases of mixed nuts, remember there's 12 cans per case, so that's going to be 12x plus 20y has to be less than or equal to 500. Maybe that's shelf space or um, what I'm limited to sell at wherever I'm selling my nuts and peanuts. And um, that is not the only restraint. I don't have all the money in the world. I only have $600. So um, when I go to buy a case, this is how much I pay for my mixed nuts. So it's going to be 24x plus 15y, and that cannot be over $600. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these large numbers and I am going to simplify and break those down. Let me go ahead and just focus on making these smaller numbers so it's a little bit easier for me to uh, work with these on a graph. So first of all, this equation right here, I can simplify everything down by a 4. So that's going to be 3x plus 5y is going to be less than or equal to 125. And speaking of this, before I look at the next constraint, I'm going to go ahead and find the uh, y-intercept. The y-intercept for this is going to be 0, 25. And I'm also going to use slope because my x-intercept is a decimal. I don't want that. Remember for slope in standard form, it's negative a over b. So my slope is going to be negative 3 over 5. And I'm going to use that to navigate more points and then just connect the dots on that. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at my next constraint because I can simplify this too. Let's see, I'm going to simplify this right here. So I've got 24, I've got a 15, I've got a 600. All of those can be divisible by... 3. So this is going to be 8x plus 5y, and that's going to be less than or equal to 200. The x-intercept here, that is going to be 25, 0. And the y-intercept is also a whole number. So for this one, I don't have to worry about finding slope because my x-intercept and my y-intercept are both whole numbers. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to take this stuff and we're going to graph it. So remember, this right here, the y and the x being greater than or equal to zero, that's telling me the first quadrant. I am also going to graph this using the intercepts, and I am also going to graph the other one using the y-intercept and then using slope to find other points on the line. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I've done here. So here's my grid. And what I've done is I've my axis. And here is where I've plotted that first um, equation. Remember that first equation, I had whole numbers for the x and y intercepts. Notice over here at the top, this is my 40. And down here is my 25. And that was the first equation. Remember that first equation was less than or equal to 600 and we reduced that down. The second equation is over here and this is where I had to use my slope. So remember my y-intercept was a 25 right here. And remember I had to go down three and over five to find other points for my line. And notice the indication for the shading, I would shade down. 
And now we have a feasible region. This feasible region, this contains all the ordered pairs that satisfies the constraints to maximize my profit. And the way that we're going to maximize is we're going to analyze each vertex. Remember, this is our uh, profit equation, 18x plus 15y. So what we're going to do is we're just going to plug in each ordered pair. The first ordered pair for the vertex gives me a profit of 450. My next ordered pair gives me a profit of 510. The ordered pair along the x-axis gives me a profit of 375. So it looks like the ordered pair of 1516 is going to maximize my profit. And remember, the 15 and the 16 represent cases of mixed nuts and cases of roasted peanuts. So to answer the question in the beginning, where it was wanting to know how it was going to, or how I was going to maximize my profit. Remember, that is just going to be um, how can I maximize my profit and how much is the profit? That answer is going to be 15 cases of mixed nuts and 16 cases of roasted peanuts for a maximum profit of $510.